nobody deserves a Canelo fight more than David Benavidez. David Benavidez has been deserving the Canelo fight more than anybody. But if Canelo doesn't want to fight him and the and the and the sanctioned bodies don't want to enforce their mandatories like you know when somebody mandates something that means it's mandatory which means that you have to do it if the sanctioned bodies aren't forcing to do it and let them keep the bell simultaneously then hey it's not his fault man so it is what it is man you know but i will say this the reason why i'm okay with this fight is because the other options was who william skull who the fuck is that guy who the fuck is that no damn well who i am who the fuck is that i tell you i'm good probably you will say i'm supposed to I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and GM. Praise God to get buddy back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. I had to go in here and close these, uh, turn off this light I had in the room. <laughs> I don't know why I had it on. But yo, we had some crazy news. Not crazy, crazy. But it's interesting news. You know, I'm going to tell you once again. Y'all boy told you so. You know, I've been telling y'all this for a little minute, but it wasn't sure. So nothing is a sure thing in boxing. But it has come to fruition. It's been announced that Edgar Berlanga and Old Cinnamon... Saul Canelo Alvarez, man, he will be fighting Edgar Berlanga. <laughs> Defended his undisputed titles this upcoming September on the 14th, man, in T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, man. That is the plan. We already knew it was going to happen, man. So they will revitalize the... Puerto Rican versus Mexican rivalry. That's what they're going to build this on because there's really nothing else you can build it on. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> we got to They got to take take advantage and exploit the cultures, the cultural war conflict between the two. Like boxing always does. You know what I'm saying? Um, am I mad at this fight, though? I'm not mad at this fight, man, because, you know, when you think about it, of course, well, what's what's the major thorn in our sides as boxing fans, as boxing consumers? We want to see Canelo versus El Monstro, right? We want to see Saul Canelo Alvarez versus David Benavides, of course. So everybody that he fights that isn't David Benavides, we're going to be disappointed naturally. So, but when people say that Edgar Berlanga is not deserving, is he deserving of the fight? Of course. Sure. Why not? I mean, it's Canelo. Don't hate the player. Hate the game, man. Be mad at, at the sanctioned bodies for not doing their job and stripping them when he's not fighting the mandatory. Like, the orders that they make, it's very selective if you want to abide by them or not. You know, it depends on your stature in the game. So when you're Canelo, you can do whatever you want, and they're not going to they're not, they're not gonna reprimand you. Then, hey, man, don't, don't hate him, man. He earned his position. He's a, he's a face of boxing now. You know what I'm saying? Now, when it comes to Edgar Belanga deserving, this is what people are talking about you know um he's 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 undefeated you know what I'm saying? he's an undefeated fighter so of course he's deserving yeah he's um he won his last fight by knockout of course he's deserving yeah he had an exceptional record of his first 60 fights ending by first round stoppage yeah so of course he deserves it now he went on a little slumpy slump he went on a little slumpy slump when it was directly correlated with his step up in opponents you know higher caliber opponents his knockout his knockout uh ratio or percentage not only did it stop that streak did it just stop it, it didn't decline sorry it didn't decline it completely stopped you know what i'm saying it completely stopped you know but then his last fight against Padraig McCrory I believe it was he got back on the knockout train you know he knocked him out so that is kind of that is kind of indicative of maybe we we're hyping up Berlanga a little bit much um because like I said with his with his opponents getting better his knockout streak didn't slow down it completely stopped it completely halted so that is alarming but he's still winning and figured out ways to win so I'm not mad at this fight but when you look at it from the perspective of it not being Benavidez then of course it's going to like he doesn't deserve it because nobody deserves the Canelo fight more than David Benavidez. David Benavidez has been deserving the Canelo fight more than anybody. But if Canelo doesn't want to fight him and the and the and the sanctioned bodies don't want to enforce their mandatories, like you know when somebody mandates something that means it's mandatory, which means that you have to do it. If the sanctioned bodies are forcing to do it and let them keep the bell simultaneously, then hey, it's not his fault, man. So it, it is what it is, man. You know. But I will say this: the reason why I'm okay with this fight is because the other options was who William Skull. <laughs> Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? No damn well who I am. Who the fuck is that? Right? The IBF mandatory? We don't want that, you know? So, and then what was the other option that they were flirting and teasing us with? I really think Canelo was trolling. But Chris Eubank? No disrespect to Chris Eubank. No disrespect to William Skull. But out of those options and Chris, and Edgar Belanga, I'd much rather see Edgar Belanga. You know, it's kind of similar to um, Jaime Munguia, even though I think Jaime Munguia is better than Edgar Belanga, right? But people were disappointed with Canelo versus Jaime Munguia. The only reason why people are disappointed with that 
is is because the existence of David Benavidez. So, like I said, Jaime Munguia to me is more more deserving than Edgar Berlanga. However, that's a good fight. If David Benavidez didn't exist, which he does exist, but if he didn't, then people wouldn't be mad because it's kind. Of, so, so what my point is, what I'm saying is that this is not necessarily a terrible fight, but it, it is underwhelming. But it's not terrible, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just we just think that because we're thinking relative to David Benavides, but hopefully the Benavides fight does happen. I want Canelo to fight him, you know what I'm saying? I, I, old Cinnamon, I want him to fight because he is the face of boxing. He always says he could do what he wants, and and also vice versa, he could also not do what he doesn't want to do. You know what I'm saying? He could also not he could do what he wants, and he could not do what he wants. You know because people are allowing him to do so. You know the sanction of body, so that's what we should we should be mad at. But yeah, I, I definitely think that Canelo is going to win this, no problem. Um, but what, like I said, c- uh, considering. The people that he could have fought between apparently the pool was Chris Eubank, William Skull, and Edgar Belanga. I think Edgar Belanga is 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 the uh, best opponent that's going to make uh, an exciting fight out of those three. But of course, I'm just like y'all. I want David Benavidez. I'm just saying that we got to add a little context to it. You know what I'm saying? We can be mad at Canelo, but being mad at Canelo is not doing anything, right? So you might as well direct your anger in the appropriate place. And the appropriate place is the sanctioned embodies. Because if you're not going to fight your mandatories, then you shouldn't be stripped. You know, and I like Canelo. I, I like Canelo. I think he, I think he earned his position as face of boxing. Everybody that's the face of boxing, they're not, it's not given, it's earned. So shout out to Canelo, shout out to Floyd, everybody that, that earned that position. They could do what they want. However, it's up to the sanctioned embodies and the, and, and the powers that be to enforce their rules that they have in place. And they're not doing that because they know that, they're going to make the most money, you know, the most financial gain when Canelo is in control of the belt. So that's why they don't strip him and they let him do what he wants. So, you know, so he's got to don't play the play. I hate the game. This is the definition of that, man. But I appreciate y'all rocking as always. All let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. Are you happy? Are you bad? Are you sad? Are you gloomy? Are you disappointed? I, I, <laughs> I know a lot of y'all going to be disappointed. Like I said, I, I consider Edgar Berlanga the less of of. Two, three evils. You know, he's the less of three evils, right? You bank, uh, you uh, bank, um, Berlanga or William Skull. So I'd rather have Berlanga than them. But of course, ideally, I would have Canelo versus Benavidez, just like y'all. But y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We are nothing. I just came to drop the news, man. Don't shoot the messenger. Or you can shoot at me. I'm going to just shoot back. Bye, bye. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.